In this example, we will write each power as a radical. Before we begin, let's take a moment to learn how to write a power as a radical. This is a power with a fractional exponent. m is the numerator and n is the denominator. We can write this as a radical. m becomes the exponent of the radicand and n becomes the index. Alternatively, we can write the radical in brackets and place the exponent m outside. Now we'll convert 3 raised to the power of 1 half to a radical. The denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical, and the numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand. The answer is a square root of 3. In part b, we'll convert minus 4 raised to the power of 1 third to a radical. The denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical, and the numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand. The answer is the cube root of minus 4. In part c, we'll convert 2 raised to the power of 4 over 3 to a radical. We can write this as either the cube root of 2 to the 4, or the cube root of 2 in brackets, raised to the power of 4. In part d, we'll convert minus 7 raised to the power of 2 over 5 to a radical. We can write this as the fifth root of minus 7 squared, or the fifth root of minus 7, in brackets, raised to the power of 2. In part e, we'll convert 2 over 3, raised to the power of 3 over 2, to a radical. We can write this as the square root of 2 over 3 cubed, or we could write this as a square root of 2 over 3, in brackets, raised to the power of 3. In part f, we'll convert 16 raised to the power of 0 0.25 to a radical. We can write 0 0.25 as 1 over 4. This gives us a fourth root of 16.